imagine, inspire. These words spark many different thoughts in me and today, after I share what was created and imagined, I hope to inspire you to go beyond thinking that you, as an individual, must do everything on your own and find out who their teammates are and ultimately understand a great line that Helen Keller once said. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Living with cerebral palsy, I physically could not survive without the help of others. This also is true in regards to my academic pursuit of a college degree from Villanova University. As I physically cannot talk, walk, or write, how was I going to get out of bed? How was I going to get to class? How was I going to take notes? As an 18-year-old, those questions were on my mind. But what I was most afraid of was, will I leave college with an education, but with no friendships or true college experiences? An experience that takes place on college campuses all over the country as sports. We often associate teams, coaches, and players with athletics. But today, I am going to share with you the best team in the country. That helped me by imagining, creating, and inspiring a life that I did not think was possible. And maybe this will inspire others to find out that together, everyone achieves more. Now let's meet the team. When building a team, you need to have a solid foundation. In college athletics, this is often tied to an athletic director. An athletic director looks at budgetary measures, facilities, and hiring the proper coaches and staff to maintain a consistent winning program. Here at Villanova University, my director is Steve McWilliams. Over the past 25 years, Stephen has built a foundation for my success as a college student living with a disability. Much like an athlete, when I was making my official visits to colleges and universities, I had to meet the person who was ultimately responsible for all the things that come with having me set foot on their campus. For example, looking at the cost for modification to a dorm room, looking at the overall facilities to ensure access and to make sure the director had a staff that was able to meet the goals that my family and I mapped out for me over the next four years. Athletes may pick a particular school because of the coach or regional preference, but for me, I had to pick the best personnel and Stephen is just that. As my director, Stephen has gone above and beyond to make sure the program he oversees was not just ready to have me, but saw the potential to create something around me. And now, he was on the lookout for a coach. During my life, I have been a fan of college sports and athletes nowadays. Pick a school not just for the name on the jersey, but for the relationship with a great coach. A player cannot succeed on their own without a coach to be a mentor, advisor, and friend. A coach has to be able to assess performance, resolve physical and emotional problems, demonstrate the skills you want performed, ensure safety and security, and ultimately guide the ship with a team that shares similar goals. I had to find that coach that would see my abilities as an opportunity to send a message that I belong, to see my goals and help me reach them. 
to imagine what my capabilities were and let me build my legacy. I left a successful high school career behind that had many friends, mentors, and family security. Coming to a new environment, I was worried that students between the ages of 18 and 21 and professors of such an esteemed level would spend the time or put in the energy to truly understand me. I needed a coach who could imagine, create, and inspire me to do all of that. On college campuses across the country, college coaches are often seen as high profile, but my coach is the best in the country at his position. Gregory Hanna has been a part of my life for the past nine years. He taught me in high school and after my graduation, I did not think the journey would continue, but an opportunity from the director gave Gregory the challenge, not just to guide my college experience, but to build a team that would be a game changer at Villanova University. Gregory is a natural leader. He motivates and inspires others to reach their full potential and for someone to see potential in people who are seen in society as people who need things to be successful. Greg, like a great coach, works with us to showcase our talents. Greg had a game plan, a vision for success, and was building a network to ultimately gain the support of many. Greg works on developing students into effective people and also provides opportunity for academic and social growth. Building the support of faculty, staff, and most importantly students led to a meeting between my coach and the player that helped change the lives of people living with a disability on campus. Every successful team has a person who plays a significant role in the physical care taking of an athlete to ensure success on the field at play. A trainer works one-to-one -one with an individual to keep their body safe from harm, but also to make sure that individual is able to perform at a high level every day. From taping ankles to assisting with stretching and rehabilitation, Trainers are at the core of every team. For me, I physically need the help of a personal care attendant to take care of every physical need. From getting up in the morning to eating three meals a day and being dressed properly for each day, my trainer, Ursula, a woman who has been by my side for almost ten years, makes sure that I am physically able to live my life every day. Over my four years at Villanova University, I had the pleasure of working with the men's basketball program under the guidance of our athletic director Vince Nicastro and coach Jay Wright. It was during practice where I saw the role of a particular player on the team and immediately saw a connection to a particular student who came into my life and changed not just me, but the lives of people around me. A point guard is also called the one by number, but can also be referred to as the playmaker or the ball handler. To some, it is the most specialized position as the point guard is expected to run the offense and make sure that the game plan set out by the coach is being executed on a daily basis. A point guard is expected to create opportunities for their teammates, sometimes attack the basket, also known as a goal. To be a vocal floor leader and discuss any interpretations that anyone may have. Ultimately, the point guard 
needs to not only know their role, but the role of each player on the team. On my team, I have the best floor general in the country. Most coaches recruit point guards to run the offense. It is rare to have a recruit walk into your office, but Ariana did just that. She went to the coach and shared her game plan to provide every student, regardless of ability, with the college experience they always hoped for, but never thought they could get. Ariana wanted to break down the walls between students with disabilities on campus and their able body peers. Her vision came from a temporary injury that left her frustrated but then also aware that others experience this and more on a daily basis and Ariana started to imagine. Instead of being surrounded by paid adults, I should be surrounded by my classmates. Instead of being alone in my room on the weekends, I should be meeting people and building meaningful relationships. Ariana had a vision to level the playing field, and a level was created. To be honest, the first time Greg put Ariana and I in a room, and she told me about level, I hated it. I did not want to focus on my disability, and did not want to make students meet me because I was the disabled kid, but my coach trusted her, and my director trusted him, so I bought in. Level makes sure that students with disabilities have proper academic support and has provided over 12,000 hours of service. Ariana and members of Level have given me the social platform, not just to share my story, but to be a typical college kid who hangs out with friends, goes on retreats, and can share personal thoughts, ideas, and concerns with people who are experiencing the same thing. Level has been a game changer for me, but also the person who created imagined and inspired this has become a lifelong friend. Through our friendship, I developed confidence in my ability to connect with people my own age, which has led to more true friendships, and now know that I can be surrounded by my peers and no longer alone. Ariana's vision was the peace our team needed to obtain the ultimate prize of changing perceptions of what students with disabilities are capable of doing both academically and socially. But now, where does that leave me? After comparing the team built around me and modeled it after the ability to build a successful sports program, I see myself as the typical student athlete. With a twist, I am a student advocate. A student athlete must balance the role of being a full-time student and a full-time athlete. For me, every day, I am a full-time student and a full-time advocate for students with disabilities. This has been one of my biggest challenges so far to be able to socially engage students in the fast-paced, aggressive world of college life, hoping I can be seen as more than just the kid in the wheelchair that's in your class. I wanted to be part of the community that I could call my home. Before I met my team, I lived at Villanova, I ate at Villanova, I went to class at Villanova, but I wasn't quite ready to call Villanova my home. Not before I met Ari and the rest of my team, 
Did I feel at home at Villanova? Here at Villanova, the word community gets thrown around a lot. In discovering my teammates, I in turn finally realized what it meant to be part of the Villanova community. I am not on scholarship for my ability to play a sport, but I am here to show that I and other people on college campuses living with a disability belong. I represent a diverse group as a person with a different history who has been successful academically and with the help of others was able to reach goals and set more for my future. I am able to recognize that alone. I could do so little but together I could do so much. I hope that from my story you would be able to think and identify people that are on your team. Now obviously there are so many more people that have helped me become the man I am today such as my family and all my friends but I challenge you to look at a particular piece of your life where you had your director, coach, and point guard. We all play this game of life every day, and together, everyone achieves more. When a group of people came together from various backgrounds with the goal of helping one person living with a disability, it turned into a trailblazing program, a level playing field, and ultimately the college experience I hoped for. You now know what those words mean to me. But, now I challenge you. How will you create, imagine and inspire? Thank you.